Hello recorders, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Steven. Well, I've been meaning to do this video for a while, like addressing like why I've been quiet on my channel lately. This happened about in the middle of September where one moment I just like, maybe I was suffering from a headache or I noticed that there was something going on with my eyesight where there were times where my vision never felt a little blurry or I was having just a headache or I didn't know if I wasn't like, I don't know how I was feeling. Like, I felt like maybe I just had COVID again because it was starting to, you know, pick up around my area a lot more, but I should have taken a COVID taste. And then the, this is the thing where I started noticing like my eyesight where I would start seeing things like either blurry or I started like getting like very sensitive to like, just to light, like anything like a flashlight or headlights or light bulbs or anything like that. And I was wondering what's going on with my vision? Like, I thought I was possibly going to have like a seizure or epilepsy or something like that, which I was really starting to panic. And I was wondering if it had anything to do with my eyesight because, you know, I wore glasses and I felt like what was going on? Like, I just didn't know what, what was going to happen. And this was around the time where I was about to go to Fanex and I was thinking because I didn't know what was going on, I thought this was going to blow over right away. And I was thinking when I come back, I'll go see my eye doctor to see what's going on. And Going to Fanex, I felt like it just wasn't a good idea. Like, even though I looked like I was okay, but I wasn't, especially like being around with so many lights. And, and every time when I was like walking around the section where I had the photo op, anytime I saw, you know, a camera doing like with the flash, it's like, you know, I would like pay attention to it or it like hurt me. And I made a bad mistake that weekend. Like I should have gotten to, done something better. So as soon as I got back from the trip, I like, you know, made a call to my eye doctor and I had to wait a week just to see her a week. And she told me to look for any other optometrist, but i uh, sure I didn't really pay attention to that because I just wanted to focus on her. So I ended up going to my appointment. She checked my eyes. Like, sure, I had to update my prescription and she told me like I was okay. Like she did not find anything like, like, uh, very serious to my eyes. So, uh, like, uh, she told me to go see an ophthalmologist and this will be the first time I'm going to one so I went to the person and you know they were checking my eyes and asking me more questions and it seems that what's been going on with me I feel like I've just been suffering from migraine headaches like I'll be honest I feel like this is the first time I've ever had this and I was like looking more into what a migraine is like the symptoms and everything and I feel like maybe that's what's been going on and there's like a lot of other key factors that leads to it like I feel like it's also a stress thing because I feel like this whole year I just been really stressed out like just really stressed out like there's a lot of contributing factors to that whether it's like you know the cost of living in California is getting so expensive like I'm lucky I can barely afford here or I feel like one thing is that maybe this is coming from like the social media not like anything bad about me but I feel like because you know I've been at my YouTube channel for so long I feel like am I really doing enough am I even growing like it's like all those bad factors and I feel like even though I feel like I've done some good things, it's like, is it really paying off at the end? <sighs> and also another thing like of like the stress, like sure, I've always wanted to say balance better with my life. Like remember how I told you guys I was trying to go vegan and I feel like it's not that I'm going to go back to it, but uh, like one of the things I can do to help battle this is just, you know, like eat better. And I've like started noticing like things that, you know, trigger migraines. And I got, I just really got to be more responsible with my health because I'm 30 years old and, and I was like throughout this whole time, like these last few weeks, I've just been really panicking with this, like just panicking. Like how I mentioned, like I thought I was going to get like a seizure or something from all the flashing lights. Like I can barely, I can't watch TV. Like if I try to watch like say Star Wars, every time when they do the lightsabers booming at each other, the flashing lights on the TV, it just really bothers me. So after seeing the ophthalmologist, they told me like I'll probably have to go get a, a C2 scanner, which I feel like I'm not sure if that's going to even be necessary to see like what's really been triggering like my eye, my, my eye sensitivity. Because after what she was telling me, she sort of feels like that's not the case. And she recommended me to do some things, which I've been following them. And I feel like I just got to do better and start taking better care of my health because I don't want it to lead to anything long term. <sighs> And I'm glad I'm finally, you know, taking this opportunity to talk to you guys to what's been going on. Like, don't worry. Like, I'm just going to be very take it easy. Like, I got a new pair of glasses. I've been wearing sunglasses. And I'm sure there are times, my days I feel better. And sometimes I just don't feel good. Like, at all. Sometimes they say one of the things to do during this thing is, like, just being alone in a dark room like this. Wait. Yeah, wait. I left the thing. <laughs> I have a little light, light night stand there. But still, like, that's one of the things. I spend, like... Most of my last few days, like, this whole time just being in my room, just in the dark, like, 
you know, like not just letting the thing like hurt me, but just like, you know, I've, I've been taking some medicine, but I just been feeling kind of lonely lately. I feel like maybe I'm just having some kind of withdrawals. Like, sure, I will say a sad thing that's been going on where throughout this year, I've been losing some friends, like some friends that I was pretty close with and some I haven't heard from and some that I just been having falling outs with. Like, sure, there's this one person that I recently had a falling out with and I feel like maybe in a way that's like what's triggering me. Like one of the many things that are triggering me and I always feel like uh, sometimes I feel like I'm just someone that does like nice things for people but in the end do they do anything nice for me no and I feel like that's another thing that's bothering me there's so like there's just like a lot of factors that bother me and maybe this is what's causing me to like feel this way and I've been feeling like just feeling like shit lately just really like shit and i'm like just taking it step by step and hopefully to recover and i won't get this uh c2 scan for like almost a couple of weeks and hopefully to know like what's gonna happen between them maybe i won't need it maybe i just gotta just be very careful and take care of myself like in the meantime i'm gonna be careful and i'm still gonna do some conventions i got a little a few left for the rest of the year like i'm gonna meet mark camel like that's something i've just been thinking about every day since i found out his announcement that's something I gotta live for it. And if you guys are going through anything like this, just remember to talk to someone. Just talk about how you've been feeling. Like, when I told this to my friend Adriana, she told me, like, I'm possibly just having a migraine issue, which she was a, had a similar thing. And, you know, just talking with her, uh, excuse me, it made me feel better. And I feel like that's another thing. Like, even though I have some friends, I feel like there are some I just can't have seem to have ever honest talks with. Like, I feel like sometimes I feel like I just can't trust anyone. Like, that's just how I feel sometimes. Like, I got some good friends for that, but some, I just feel like I just don't know who to trust anymore. Like, I, although I can build new friendships, but it's just taking me a while. Anyway, recorders, that's everything that's been going on with me. I Hopefully this, you know, sheds light to what's been going on for me. And maybe you guys have been going through something similar. Like, this has just been a rough year. It's like it's been rough for everyone. And just remember, talk to someone about this. Like, I'm glad I have you guys to talk to. And I've been feeling a lot better and hopefully i continue to feel better and does not get any worse well thank you so much for tuning in recorders please hit that subscribe button comment down below give me a like remember i'm on cameo if you like a special shout out for me and catch you next time